So let's see this problem. It says Raul used two thirds of his notebook. Here is Raul, he used two thirds of his notebook. Lynn used three sixths of her notebook. Here is Lynn, 24 fourths of her notebook. So Mariana used 13 24 of her notebook. So the question is who used less than Mariana? So I need to know who, between Raul and Lynn, who used less than that? To compare these fractions, the first thing that I need to do is to change it so they all have the same denominator. Which denominator could be the one that I need to use as a whole? So I need to change the other ones. Ivan. Okay. So I need 24. I'm going to use my new denominator to change the other fractions. Okay. So I need to multiply the denominator so I can have a new denominator of 24. So what I'm doing here, I'm creating an equivalent fraction. Something that is the but that has a denominator of 24, so I can compare it with with uh, Mariana. So three times what number is 24? Three times. Three times eight is 24, and if I have, I need eight in the numerator. Two times eight is 16. Okay. So an equivalent fraction for two thirds is 16 24. I'm gonna do the same thing with Lynn. I need to change this denominator that is that has 24 in the denominator. 6 times what number is 24? 4. four. four. That would be 6 times 4 is 24. And if I have 4 in the denominator, I need 4 in the numerator. 12. So now if you notice, now I have all my fractions with the same denominator. So the only thing that I need to do now is look at the numerator and see in this case, who did less than Mariana? Mariana did 13, 16, which means that he did, or he used more than Mariana. And the question is who did, who used less? So in this case, who did less than Mariana? Lynn, because she has 12 out of 24 and Mariana did 13. So how do I write this is 13, 24 is less than I'm, now, I'm not going to use this. This is just as a ref. It's less than 3, 6.